Hello you guys, today I will be showing you the LEGO Overwatch 75987 Omnic Bastion set. This is the first of the Overwatch LEGO sets, which is a Blizzard Store exclusive. I didn't buy it from the Blizzard Store, I got this from eBay instead, because it was slightly cheaper there, if you included the shipping. But, it, yeah, it has 182 pieces, and it goes for $25, depending on where you get it. Most of the place is going to be 25 to $30. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be showing you this set now. And we're going to start off with the actual build itself. So yeah, for, I'm going to start off that it has a little stand right here, which is the Blizzard exclusive thing right there. It says Lego Blizzard exclusive. That is a sticker, unfortunately. It's not a print. It's a nice little stand, though. It's just like tan right there. and. The, how the figure stands on here is just these two little peg things that stick in here. So it can easily be removed and these could just be pushed back so that he can just kind of stand. In fact, when you have those on there, it adds for a bit more balance if you have them kind of angled down a little bit. So there he is. And he has his bird Ganymede. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. Um, that's right here. I'm gonna show that really quick to get that out of the way. I think it looks pretty nice. I like the use of this piece for the tail. It looks pretty cool. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And for the actual, uh, build, we have a little stud shooter right here. So that just, you know, shoots off right there. And some bit of detailing under that cannon arm right there. And for the other arm, it's pretty simple. It's just a little hand right here, which is shown with that one piece, which... It's pretty interesting to be using for a hand, but it's cool, I guess. And over here, there's some shoulder armor stuff. We Those are both uh, stickers. So the only stickers you get in this set are two of ma these two matching ones, and then the uh, Blizzard exclusive thing right here. And yeah, um, back to the arms. I, felt, I keep feeling like I put these on wrong, but like I don't think I put them on wrong. I think I put them right. But it's just kind of weird that these can be like easily flapped up like that and don't really stay on like this thing. So it makes the arms kind of bulky. Speaking of bulky, we get the legs down here which are very bulky legs. You have a lot of the gold bar pieces and silver right here. That looks pretty good right there. We get this um, piece that was introduced in Nexo Knights. Not entirely sure what it's called. But I think it looks pretty cool for some leg detailing. And the legs are can articulate right here and at the feet, not like knee joints or anything like that, but that's okay. Um, I mean, it's pretty poseable though, like pretty, yeah, like very poseable. You can do a lot of things with it. You can like sp spread the legs out like that. And like, yeah, I mean, not necessarily with balance, but it's pretty poseable. So you can like kind of hold it up like here. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with this. And no matter what pose you look like, you put it in, it still looks pretty good. So. I think that's pretty good about this. Um, the torso area is pretty small, but that like I kind of like that uh, look of it. And I like how this piece kind of matches the same design of kind of the angle that this is going at as these ones up here on the side. That looks pretty good. I also like how this entire thing is in orange. The orange looks pretty nice with the gray. I like that color scheme. It looks pretty good. And I, I just like any Lego set that's orange. Because we don't get that that often, and I think it's pretty cool when we, do, when we do. The head is attached on that little ball joint piece thing. And it's built out of one of those gun pieces with a bunch of uh, studs on every side. So you just kind of cover up the sides, except for the back one, with different pieces. You have this uh, one by one trans red tile right there. And then on here you get the gold bar pieces and then just a orange tile on the top. On the back, he has the minigun thingy right here, so you, you can't really take that off and put it in his hand. You can take it off, but, like, he's not going to be able to hold it, and I don't think it's really meant to be taken off. It's just kind of there, but I just took it off. And it's attached by one of those uh, shield pieces that I think was originally introduced, or at least a set that I remember it in was that one uh, Star Wars Battle Pack, but the last set we got it in red was, like, the Hulkbuster set, or at least that's one that I know of. And then, yeah, you can just kind of put that back there, and it folds up like that. So I think that looks pretty good on his back right there. I like the build for it. It's not amazing, but, like, it works, because you're not going to see it all the time, because it's on the back. 
but yeah um there's a lot of stuff going on here i like it it's good for like a small build like this they did a lot with 182 pieces and yeah also they have these little jumpers right here which you can put a his bird on right there so that's pretty much just that for him but yeah they did do a lot with the small amount of 182 pieces um, the price is a bit steep, but I would say it is worth the $25. I mean, it, it still looks pretty good. It's a decent size. I mean, yeah, it's good. This is it compared to a minifigure, like, on the stand. So, it, it's a pretty good size. It's not huge, but it's not, like, tiny either. It's just there, you know, it's a good size. And, yeah, I would say I do enjoy it. And yeah, now I'm going to start going on to the box art because it's kind of important to show it because, you know, this is the first Overwatch set, which makes it kind of important to, to show the new box. So you have the Overwatch logo up there. You have a lot of detailing in the back. That looks pretty good with a lot of the trees and stuff. And then you get the build, of course, right there. And kind of interesting how they do all the... Um, maybe something a lot of people don't notice is that they put the um, information in the same font that they do on their website. If you uh, have seen that before, their website. Uh, thing important here, this is not how a lot of the back of the boxes are going to look. This one just looks this way because it's like the exclusive. A lot of the other ones are going to look um, different. Um, I don't really like the back of the box on a lot of the new ones. Kind of weird because it doesn't show you a lot of the stuff that boxes usually show you. It just shows you all the names of the characters, but yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, he's shooting the, the little stud, which is the one action feature of this set. But yeah, anyway, like I said before, I do enjoy this set. I mean, it is, yeah, a bit overpriced, but it is an exclusive set. So, I mean, you got to give it that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. And yeah, I do enjoy the set. And uh, I'm just going to end with saying I'm going to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.